Dante James has been booked on a preliminary charge of homicide by intoxicated use of a vehicle in the death of Officer Ku Her earlier this week. James is still on probation from his fourth drunk driving conviction in 2017. His license was revoked. 12 News' Matt Smith is live near the crash scene at 60th and Capitol. Matt? Patrick, if convicted tonight, he could be spending a lot of time in prison. He's being held on charges, accused of blowing through this intersection, killing the Milwaukee police officer. And tomorrow now, state lawmakers will have a chance once again to vote on whether to strengthen some of the state's drunk driving laws. The Department of Corrections pictures and mugshot from the Milwaukee County Jail are all old pictures, symbolic of previous drunk driving convictions that have led to today. The family of Officer Ku Her grieving. He was such a loving and caring guy. And a suspect whose fourth offense OWI sentence of probation and a revoked license is not uncommon. He could have been sentenced for three years on that fourth offense and he wouldn't have been out. He would have been incarcerated and the cop would still be alive. The state it, representative Jim Ott says the, the average number. sentence for a fourth offense OWI in Wisconsin is seven and a half months behind bars. But each case is up to the judge's discretion. Ott is again pushing a series of bills to strengthen the state's drunk driving laws. On Thursday, the assembly will vote on two of them. One would send a mandatory minimum five years in prison for anyone convicted of killing someone while driving drunk. You can't just be on the way home from work and have your, your life ended because somebody got behind the wheel impaired. That's just not right. It's terrible. It's, it's unbelievable. And yet, it happens. A culture Milwaukee's mayor said Wednesday needs immediate change. This clearly was an individual that should not have been driving this car at this time. Matt joins us once again. Matt, Wisconsin is the only state that doesn't criminalize first offense OWI. Is there any movement to change that? Well, there is a bill, Patrick, but it isn't moving fast. The other legislation that is expected to be voted on tomorrow would require first time offenders to appear in person in court, but it would not change the penalty. We'll be sure to follow up. Matt Smith reporting live in Milwaukee tonight.